page. So we want to find with respect to S. Well, with respect to S, we set up the columns from the, the vectors in the basis S. So we get 2, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 1. And we're solving for 4, negative 9, and 5. Reduced row echelon. When you do that, you end up with, I won't actually write that out, you end up with 4, negative 5, and 1. So now we have the left-hand side. Now what we want to do is we want to check, is 4, negative 5, 1, does it equal that transition matrix? times the coordinate vector with respect to, yes, as it turns out, when I do the multiplication on the right-hand side, I end up with 4, negative 5, 1. So yes, it is verified. Again, our equation is this. If I have some coordinate vector with respect to a basis t, and I want to find the coordinates with respect to another basis, S, I multiply on the left with something called the transition matrix, and that will give me the coordinates with respect to S. And the columns of that transition matrix are the individual basis vectors for the basis T expressed as coordinate vectors with respect to the basis S. That's what this notation tells me. Okay. <clears throat> now, that's exactly what we did. We were given two bases, T and S. We took the basis, the vectors in the basis from T. We expressed them as coordinate vectors with respect to the basis S. And that which we got, we set up as columns in a matrix. That matrix that we get is the transition matrix. That allows us to go from one basis to another given one coordinate or another.